As the migrant caravan continues to be a heated topic here in our country, a local Honduran mother fighting to get her asylum case reopened. Vicky Chavez came to the United States with her daughter in 2014 to escape domestic violence and civil unrest. She sought sanctuary at the First Unitarian Church in January to avoid deportation, but her case was denied in July. ABC4's Rosie Nguyen caught up with her to find out where her case stands today. For Vicky Chavez and her daughter, each day in sanctuary at First Unitarian Church is a waiting game. After her asylum case was denied in July, she appealed to the Tenth Circuit Court, hoping to get her deportation order reversed. She says it could take as long as five years before a judge will hear her case. Mi niña llorando, le decía, perdóname por llevarte a Honduras, no puedo, pero dije yo... No puedo, no puedo llevar a mi niña a Honduras, no puedo llevarla a un lugar donde está mucha violencia, mucha delincuencia, donde estamos amenazadas de muerte. Although she's limited to the church's boundaries, she's thankful to have even made it this far because it breaks her heart to see border agents tear gas members of the migrant caravan. Son personas que no saben lo que uno está sufriendo en nuestros países. Son personas que nunca les ha faltado un bocado de comida y son personas que no tienen que, que andarse escondiendo de, de maras o de personas de que llegan y Refugee and immigrant advocates say the United States should be a place that helps those escaping oppression and prosecution. I think uh, what we have seen the last couple days in, at our border in between Mexico and the United States, it is inhumane. The way that these individuals, especially women and children, have been treated, uh, that creates more trauma. Chavez can only wait to see what the fate of asylum seekers like her will be in the next several years. Es difícil, pero no hay que perder la fe y hay que intentarlo porque si no intentamos no sabemos hasta dónde podemos llegar. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News. In a statement to ABC4 News, immigration officials say, quote, the reality is that our asylum system is being exploited by those simply seeking economic opportunity, not those fleeing persecution, exacerbating crisis after crisis at our southern border, end quote. For the full response, just head over to our website, abc4.com.